You ever uh, kind of riding around in your car and you notice something's wrong? It's got some smoke coming out the exhaust or maybe it just doesn't have the power it used to when you used to cruise around the streets having a great time. You've checked the spark, you know it's getting gas and it's driving, but barely. Well, you need to learn how to do a compression check because there could be stuff going wrong inside your engine that you will never know unless you, one, do this compression test, or two, tear the entire engine apart. Welcome to Disturbing Creation. And we're here today to teach you about a new skill. I'm going to be doing basic mechanic skills, intermediate mechanic skills, and even expert mechanic skills. Depending on your level, I've got a playlist for each. to do uh, before we even started putting money into this was do a compression test. I'm going to teach you today how to do a compression test. So this is a, a four-stroke compression tester. Um, each one of these is set to fit in a different spark plug housing. Uh, so what, we, what I did was I took the plug out. You see all, all the, these have the uh, old plugs that go to this single coil pack. And this single coil pack is under heavy amperage and runs all of your spark plugs. So we'll just hide that back on there. Uh, second thing you have to do is down in this hole, there's a spark plug. You have to take this spark plug out and match it up with the threads to one of these. So let's say it's this one, you know? Then we screw this down in here. And then we take our gauge here. And you see how it pops on? It just connects through here. And then see how the gauge works? So what I would do is I would go into the car here, you know, I would go over into the car here and I would just turn the car on and have it crank, you know, bah, turn the key over two, three, four seconds. That's it. You don't want to keep cranking the car. You're only running on five cylinders because each one of these is taking up a cylinder. So then I come back over, I get a number from the gauge and I write it down, okay, cylinder one. And then I go to the next cylinder. I go back over and I crank it, I come back and I read the gauge, okay, cylinder two. Okay, cylinder three, okay, cylinder four. I write them all down. Hopefully they're all around the same. And then I check the schematics in the book or online to see what PSI I'm supposed to have for my rings inside here uh, for my piston. So, if I'm supposed to have a 125 to 115 to 125 through here, and let's say I have 120, 120, 80, 120, 120, 120. So all these are within spec except this one. So we have a couple of problems right here. So let's say one of these is only 80. We're under spec. So Oh my God, what happened? We're, we're not even over 100, we're under spec. So what that means is this cylinder cannot hold pressure when the piston's coming up, it doesn't have any pressure. It's not holding the gas and air to ignite. You're gonna get a misfire. Car's gonna run erratic. And something is wrong here. So either the piston has a crack in it uh, or the valve is stuck open you know, let's say the exhaust valve is stuck open and when you push all the gas and air in to do a mixture, it's just floating out the exhaust valve and there's nothing that combust when the piston comes up and down to work. There's nothing there. Your spark thread just fires, but there's no gas. So the crank's just gonna pull it back down. Or you could have a bad ring. There's a lot of different problems. The next thing I would do is I would try to go in here with some kind of magnet scrape around in the bottom where the spark plug's supposed to be and see if any metal chunks come up. Check your magnet, you know, and then see what's on your magnet. If there's nothing on your magnet, the next procedure I would do 
is to go inside here with one of these little tiny cameras. It has a little holder screen. You put the camera down in here. It's like infrared or got a light on it or something and you can see. Sometimes you can see the crack in the piston or turn it up and see that the valve is open. But if you're not getting compression, there's no reason to fix this or get it to run or do anything. You have to tear this apart. You gotta take the um, manifolds off. You gotta take this intake off. You gotta take this valve cover off. And then you gotta take this long head off as well to get down to the piston and see what's going on. I mean, it could be the piston, it could be the ring, or it could be one of the valves that's stuck open. I mean, I have no idea because all of these have the same symptom. So it's very good to go through this uh, engine and make sure that there's compression in all these cylinders. So I did the compression test. Um, I went through all of them. All of them came out the spec, uh, which is very good, very happy. Um, and then I went from...